evening. It's a pleasure to uh, welcome Jose Luis Mateo to the AA. In uh, a recent book on the work of Jose Luis Mateo that's been published by Berkhauser called Ideas and Buildings, the title of his lecture, Kurt Foster writes, despite their striking lucidity, access to Mateo's buildings and projects is never obvious. Customary approaches cut no paths <coughs> to his architectural thoughts. Just when one believes to have penetrated it, the object disappears from view, or as in a hall of mirrors, trades places with others. Distorted reflections do not only obstruct access, they also release things whose suspended character is never entirely revealed through representation. Their particularity, or uh, their, their particularly atmospheric presence, which Matteo likes to characterize with such provocative terms as gases, substance, and phantom, provokes reactions that usually find no place in the discussions of architecture. Yet Matteo's considerations resort in no way to the private or the mythic. They center rather upon the insight, upon the insight that life as he recently wrote, is strongly bound up with flowing, floating ideas, with the gliding, the unforeseen, the open, and interconnected. In order to capture these suspended qualities in the weighty medium of architecture, without their either becoming rigid or denying structural in uh, integrity, Matteo must work with contradictory intentions. Jose Luis Matteo graduated from the School of Architecture in Barcelona in 1974 and has been involved in practice and teaching ever since, teaching more recently at the ETH in Zurich and at uh, the School of Architecture in Barcelona, where he currently teaches. He was the editor of Quaderns, one of the most influential architectural uh, periodicals of our time from 1981 to 1990. During this period, the uh, magazine received many awards, including those from the UIA and the ACCA, the, Catalan Association of Architects. The work of Jose Luis Mateo has also received many awards, including the award from Italstat for Young Architects in 1991, and the FAD Awards in Barcelona in 1993. Would you join me in welcoming Jose Luis Mateo? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your kind introduction and also for your presence here. In fact, uh, when I was thinking in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in my lecture here, in my words, um, slides, and images here, I was thinking in, in, in several questions. One, I, I, I am going to try to make a very short lecture. So that is uh, the, the first uh, one, uh, one first question. And uh, I mean, uh, I hope I'm going to be able to do that. The, the, the second question, and also in relationship to my old childhood when uh, uh, Architectural Associ Association has some kind of uh, ideological and, uh, uh, background. Uh, so I'm trying to do something like the opposite that I was thinking to, to be able to do, uh, in a way. So I, was, I just am going to, I selected to show just buildings uh, built buildings in a way, uh, re very recent ones, and uh, in in order to <coughs> to 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 develop or to to remember and to explain that uh, in fact what in, uh, I am really interested in is in, in something that is really old but is really uh, more and more difficult, more and more contemporary in a way, or more specifically with some kind of specific, specific contemporary trends that is being uh, an architect in our a practical architect in, a in our contemporary culture in a way. That is something close but very distant also from the past. So for that, I'm, doing, I'm just going to talk to buildings, basically, just one project. I'm going to talk uh, also with something that is uh, strong, very strong to me, that is some kind of intellectual, let's say. I, I would like to explain how it is an intellectual interest on architect, on architecture. My interest in architecture is something really connected to some kind of intellectuality, some kind of ideas on that, on uh, how to do. Ideas that has nothing to do, or little to do, with any artistic, any formal 
any phenomenological uh, approach in a way. So my, the energy to my work is more connected to somehow a kind of epistemological uh, uh, trend than a phenomenological uh, uh, orientation. So in this sense, I would like to explain something on that, this kind of, uh, let's say, remote basis on the, my work. And, and in parallel to that, something that is maybe opposite, but to me are close connected as the strong materiality or of uh, our buildings or what we try to do with uh, the, mat the material, the materiality of the reality as a first, also first concern uh, uh, in, in direct contact with the ideas that uh, we as architects try to develop. So anyway, so I just, uh, I will say, I just am going to show five projects and uh, six, pro six buildings and one project. All of them, this is, all of them are very local. I will try to, to do a very local uh, local discourse and local uh, in this t time I'm trying to develop a strange phase now here so I now I'm just I'm going to talk in a very local and Barcelona and uh, Catalan and this kind of thing yeah? so <coughs> uh, uh, I would like to start with uh, in this sense yeah? We can, this is one project and, uh, and, uh, and one uh, also an intellectual uh, I am the, the director of a big uh, research team that uh, is uh, for producing a new museum on contemporary uh, Barcelona Barcelona architecture. Barcelona, not, not contemporary architecture, but the city, the, the contemporary uh, expansion of the city. It's, it's, it's going to be the museum for the city, and it's going to open in the in the in the next summer. And I am going. To, I, I am being uh, uh, involved in the designing the, the contents of the exhibition, of, on, on the show. I mean, and also the, the, the space somehow. But the most important in this case has been the, the how uh, to 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 describe and to analyze and to the, the one the, the growing uh, the growth of one city like that is my city. In 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 this in this sense. Uh, my uh, the project m maybe is that is wrong. I am wrong from that. Or something happens. And anyway, okay, 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 <laughs> okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry. So and I would like just to to describe some questions connected to the because it's also connected in, in a way with my architecture or somehow it's a, a big analytical and. Uh, an intellectual discourse and how to understand reality, one reality. This is a project made with anthropologists and geographers, demographers, um, art historians, and uh, of course architects and people like that. So on, on, uh, on, uh, and we try to describe some, some how, for instance, the people that is living the city in a way. And also, we, we are trying to, to and filmmakers and uh, and uh, video video uh, and, and all these kind of amusements that uh, uh, that one uh, uh, museum uh, is going uh, needs uh, to have you know, and to communicate. So, one one direction is the, the sociological aspects on of the on the city, and the sociological aspects on the architecture. Some, something that is connected to anthropology that is also close. I'm going to use this exhibition to explain some, some of the questions that I, I, I am also interested in in, this, in, this, uh, in my work. Some kind of anthropological uh, mm, roots or out of our uh, world. This is, for instance, a, a series of Barcelonians that is uh, starting with the first uh, daguerreotypes uh, in the mid uh, end uh, 19th century. And uh, uh, this is uh, a picture in the neorealist -re neo neorealist tradition in the uh, big immigrations in the 50s. That is explaining the big uh, change of the population, and also connected with the big uh, social effects. And uh, so, one is something like a, an anthropological point of view. Another something, uh, uh, another uh, question that we are interested in researching and uh, explaining is. The, the fire presence into the life, in a way. So this is uh, when, um, s m um, in the introduction, it was already said, I, I am interested in, in, in things like uh, gas and uh, liquid and solid and these kind of things. And in one portion of the, of the exhibition that is in the, 
the history of the city on the culture in the 20s and 30s that was uh, in a way connected with the presence of the bombs that there is a bombing in the in the uh, in the uh, mid in the in the, in the uh, 15 in the year 15 was a big uh, and the bombing in the civil war and in between this kind of bombing I mean this kind of gas uh, 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 energy that was also let's say used by all the, the avant-garde at that time to produce uh, all the plants etc so the, the so something like a gas a space that is going to be all this uh, area that is connected with this kind of fire and, and, and power of the bomb in relationship to the cultural this historical tradition in this uh, historical uh, production of this moment something also for instance that is uh, absolutely astonishing is how the, the Serdaf uh, uh, plan was uh, was designed was built in a way so the, you know the Serda agreed uh, this kind of uh, uh, grid that is surimposed into into the into the into the land, and how it was built, it was like like also like mushroom, like like bombing. So how the uh, emergencies everywhere. We are planning a big uh, video space when the you can notice the we we name this video space like a mushrooner. It's, it's a space you notice the the growing of the city in a in a physical uh, in a way. So because the city was. Uh, uh, it was built not by, by in an in unitarian way, but in a very fragmentary way. And so we are designing a kind of a space when all this <coughs> fragmentarity you notice in a, in, a, in a visual way, this fragmentarity and, uh, and that at the end is, is building a kind of whole, a new whole, a new entity, a new unity. And also, for instance, the, 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 the presence, and now I am starting to to go to one of my, my projects, uh, the, the the start the, the this is Montjuic in the 60 in the 50s 60s, the mountain of Barcelona, and this is the beach in the at that time, when the, and this is the moment with uh, the city, I mean something that is quite exciting to my city and, uh, and somehow also in Spain is is the the close distance in between the city and the rural situation. I mean the you notice that the, the, the transition in between rural <coughs> and uh, city and urban has been very recent in a way. No, it's, it's so this, this, this was a first attempt to transform, to produce one city. So this was a big uh, immigration uh, in the 50s that used the whole mountain of Montjuic and the whole villages and used this space just reproposing new all new traditional uh, towns, new traditional uh, small uh, small villages in a way. So it's a kind of transition in between. It's a moment tr of transition in between the rural and the city. And this kind of that happens just uh, uh, 30 years ago. In difference with many other European cities, where the, this distinction in between city and, and, and rural uh, life has been more uh, old, uh, has been older. So th this is, for instance, new in this sense, this kind of, of transition in between the city and the rural life. They are the two images, one from the 60s and one exactly five years ago. When I was uh, an editor of, uh, the editor of Podence, I, I commissioned to John Davis, a fantastic uh, English photographer, to make a series of photographs of oh. this kind of new, uh, oh. new, uh, new, Town, not, not town, an extension of the city, a uh, beach. Uh, this is a, f a picture in that time, in the 60s, and this is a picture where you really notice that this kind of, uh, of open field in between the, the architectural, the, the city, and the, and the rural uh, pre existing condition, that this is something that, in a way, is close connected to some kind of energy that is close connected to this project. To <coughs> so, this is one project in Terrassa. Terrassa is one picture. This is one picture made by uh, one photographer friend of me uh, 10 years ago. This is Tarrasa, he named uh, Tarrasa because it was the, the place. You, you, you notice the first houses that the, the first I immigration uh, people produce here. So this kind of houses uh, here and the, the new houses that were, were uh, at that time with uh, concrete skeletons, uh, etc. So I am building here 
this is by chance, but I've been like here, enormous complex with uh, almost uh, 400 uh, housing in this kind of context with, and I'm trying to say that this, this, this some kind of energy, this kind of energy in, the, in between the, the youthness of the, of the intervention, you know, where you, are, you notice you are using a land that is free, virginal in a way, it's, it's the new, uh, the whole thing, and it's, you are passing from this moment to this moment, and in this case, this is enormous complex with uh, uh, social housing by, by a private developer. And uh, I'm not just going to explain too much. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of a bar. It's a continuous bar that is after destroying at the end. So I use uh, the regulations that I try to transform somehow. Uh, also transform is in a kind of line and a kind of, of broken uh, uh, legs. This is like a tower. And now we are going to, we are building this piece and we are start building this one and we are planning to build more towers of this one and a big, so, um, in this kind of uh, wild energy of this kind of, uh, of first occupation of the, of the land, we are, we are planning, to, we, are, we have the commission to make, to continue this kind of uh, development uh, in for having uh, almost 1,000 housing and uh, social, uh, and a shopping center, etc. A big park here in between. So the place you see is like a bar here, the destroying at the end, and a tower. It just uh, this this gesture is something open that protect one piece of the land and mark, uh, of course, a kind of, of wall from the outside and opens to the inside. That is a very topical and typical and topical uh, approach. Uh, open to the south, to the to the to the garden, close to the to the outside. So this is very topical, and and, uh, and we b but we st st strongly continues this let's say uh, topical idea, and uh, this is the 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 the, star the 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 starting moment of the of the wall. So the wall is just in brick. Now it's, it's interesting because it's a new immigration people. Uh, for instance, all the brickers, m all the brickers man are, are from the Maghreb now, from the north of Africa. All this, uh, this was very uh, uh, exciting to me. The, the, uh, we, we work very close to the site, uh, s uh, as almost everybody somehow, and, and, uh, and, and, and the, the building's uh, control was very exciting because all, everybody was from the north of Africa in a way. All the music and uh, so on, and so on. and and and, and it was also uh, all the brickers and so on. It's a kind of new uh, Im a new wave somehow that could uh, uh, let's say uh, continues our uh, story of uh, Barcelona and somehow. So this is uh, brick, which uh, just is a very abstract and very quite banal uh, facade. This is a big, enormous, massive, uh, but by uh, 500 uh, meters uh, long, and uh, with small detailing like these pieces from the, the this, these corners for instance and um, on the on this kind of the, the, the wall has some kind of pattern with a very strange lines that appears introducing an, a new uh, grid that uh, we cannot see because it's not it's not uh, <coughs> you must see the whole thing it's a, it's a continuous of of wo of brick was with a, 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 a like a geographicus uh, new pattern art that are these other lines of uh, other bricks. And the whole ground floor is, is suspended with a kind of very puristic uh, design. Then the whole thing is continuum. This is for the advertisements for the old, old shopping here and from the entrance, of course, but for the old shopping. And now, I have not uh, pictures yet, but now it's, it's really unbelievable change because it's full of names I mean, is is I try to 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 make in contrast some kind of puri puritanian or puristical approach in the design, and some kind of life, <coughs> some kind of life that is somehow destroying the the the, the, the puristic pattern. So, for instance, the whole line is full of very bizarre names, and the whole you open this this thing and it appears uh, each door has a special like a kashva somehow, eh? like a kashva from the brickers. So the inside is is uh, is made in a, in a big uh, even is, is lighter. <coughs> it's made in a big uh, concrete panels. Uh, the concrete is used in a very light way because I even the, the concrete this this is a movable part. For this is a concrete piece. You know, eh? the in the concrete you have this is a line of glass <coughs> inside the concrete, 
and have the same texture f uh, apparently than the other ones. So it's a kind of tension in between lightness and solidity inside, and the, and the whole gravity of the stone is moving up so it's also. So it's a kind of very light, somehow, a structure, uh, uh, but made with, in a big, with a big uh, uh, and heavy pieces. The whole thing has a big, uh, all the first housing has a big terrace, and the other housing has, like, in the top, uh, another special moment, another special wall, right here. So this is, this is the entrance. The, the first level uh, houses that have this kind of big uh, space and in the top that also they have this kind of uh, space that they can use uh, directly connected to the house. No? It's a social housing and very, very cheap also. Next to that, in the also in the periphery, this is was in the uh, situation in the periphery, in this, this kind of third world periphery. This is a more modern periphery in the, in the next connected to the... the in a way, uh, my city and, uh, and also my my country is uh, even. Uh, I, I was. Uh, I, I say I, uh, um, before that I was going to talk very, uh, let's say, localist in a very local way, eh? in a very contextualist way eh? at the beginning. So, <laughs> so I, and I, I continue. Uh, this uh, my culture in a way is a very. Uh, you feel some kind of modernization uh, energy for the whole thing. For instance, this motorway has been built. Uh, ten years ago, somehow. So, uh, so I, we all know all this kind of, uh, and, uh, and around these motorways, all these kind of enormous um, extensions has been uh, built uh, maybe five years ago. And in relationship to these kind of lines, <coughs> this kind of movement lines of the, this kind of new energies uh, of the land. We have designed some years ago this uh, uh, a long building for the university that was in parallel. The motorway is here, so you, you see, you see uh, from the distance, you see directly from the motorway. So, and, and this building is, is just, uh, you can reduce the building uh, uh, this diagram, is a line uh, parallel to the, to the motorway and also in relationship to many other geometries. So it's like a line. And a long line that is 200 meters or so, 100 and something uh, meters, and uh, that is, is unifying and connecting very different realities because there is a river here, there is a flatland here, and there is like a hill, a, mo a small a slope here. So on the line, and the function also is changing, is uh, with many things for the university, with uh, sports and, and administration and things, many things inside like all uh, many all, all contemporary buildings. And the whole line is cut in, in pieces, also for static reasons, for the, the expansion joints uh, were absolutely fundamental to this diagram also. So, and you have this, this line that is has in different uh, forms, different functions and different uh, structures. And are appear, the building appears like, a, like an addition of one piece after the other. So this is the port, the entrance, this is something with the structure that is very, that is making a bridge for the river. And uh, the whole thing is like a tube, uh, like a, like a infrastructural tube. This is like a box with all the, all the staircases is there, are there. All the, the with, it's like a, this kind of typical Piranesian, let's say Piranesian spaces with light in the top and the staircases. And this is like a, like a flat, like, like, in, like an inclined roof. Huh? So you, you see the, the whole thing inside and the, the building, was this idea to establish a line and to decompose the line and to produce a, a, a unity made by the addition of different uh, and different uh, uh, realities and different uh, techniques. So you see a little bit the, the whole thing with the entrance, the pipe, the river, the box, and after this, the, 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 the and after the 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 the, the inclined the inclined and the inclined roof. Huh? So the pipe crosses the river in a very Direct way, so there is also a, a bridge suspended connected to the to the pipe, so you can also cross in, in parallel to the building, and you can continue there and you continue until here. This is the each part is one material and one concrete. Where this is aluminium, after it's brick, and after it's another brick with and concrete also, but with another color brick, and uh, and uh, the inside and and you enter the 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 
one of possible the, uh, possible entrances is by this top uh, by, by the the head that appears the entrance appear appears like a continuity in between inside and outside so you from from the inside you notice the outside is just this kind of rugosity on the on the earth that is is establishing the fact and uh, and, and, and is, is marking the fact of the entrance and the rest is just a continuity in between inside and outside that is something that each time is more and more, uh, let's say, import, um, uh, important in my work, the, 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 the difficulty to define the limits and to, to separate and, and, and not to unify, not to, co not to uh, connect. This is the, 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 the it's so-called, um, this kind of a space with light into the top and the whole the staircase system going down. The whole staircases are suspended also from the top, so they, they no, don't touch the, the earth. So, so the whole thing is just, the whole structure from the staircases are also connected to this idea of the light is coming from the from above and the movement uh, that is connected to this kind of line, the vertical light, uh, line of movement of people and also of light. And, and, and the, 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 the tiling and the structure is not never touching the, the earth and always floating in relationship to the light. And uh, another project I'm going to show very quickly is uh, um, um, a big uh, complex in Barcelona. It's another kind of contemporary expansions of the city. This is, in this case, this is really urban in the in the center. The other two were one is the extreme periphery, and uh, well, not so extreme. But, uh, in Terrassa, the second is in next to the motorway. And this is next to a new, let's say, a new center in the in really in the city. This this is a, a part of the city that I really like with all the continuity. Uh, this th all these buildings were built in the in the 80s, in the early 80s, uh, maximum 10 years ago. And uh, I remember very well the the, the the situation before all the buildings etc. So uh, my building is at the end of this one. It's a series of, of buildings. At the end, there is a big shopping center, the Corte Inglés, and in the second, in the second rank, is this kind of complex in relationship to the towers of Coderc, uh, one big uh, architect from Barcelona, from from the 60s, and, uh, and in, in relationship to the towers and the other existing building and the Corte Inglés, etc. And, and the life here is uh, my project. My project is was a, a big complex of. Uh, housing, uh, offices, and many things, and a hotel, and, uh, and a shopping center, and a big parking, etc. And I, I also, I try to make a, a, the plan is trying to, to, to be in relationship to everything, in a way. So this is the, the, the big shopping center, the diagonal, the, the other motorway, the towers, and the existing block. And my, my my project is trying to deal with everything. It's trying to deal with the, with the for instance, with the li lineality of the diagonal on, the, on this block, and trying to add new blocks in this direction, trying to form like a, like a series, like a bigger series, with using the other one, like, like a fragment uh, that is also in my project. Huh? So th th they, are not para they are parallel, but they are, they are not exactly the same. So this is expanding. So this is making like a head from the from the street and, uh, and, and defining a special uh, square here. So and also uh, from and this is the shopping center in between the two bars. This is a, a square, and this also have li like a kind of axis in between air axis in between the the two blocks and the the other air that is here in between the tower. So it's a kind of let's say a modern, uh, something like we can say, like a modern axis in between the two uh, directions and, the, and the at the end with the blocks. Hmm? So the, the, building, the building was uh, made with this kind of uh, also expansion joints and, and enormous, uh, it, it was very difficult to, to <coughs> deal, of course, the different functions together, trying to unify and, 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 and unify the whole thing and also to, to give all the parts to, to have their own life. So this is the hotel, for instance. You see, this is the structure, the structure of the, of the big parking uh, uh, space. It's an enormous parking space, and the whole thing has to be together. So it's a kind of 
of, it's not a game, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a question, no? uh, also an intellectual question, how to connect, and how to disconnect, and how to, to give all the parts f freedom, and also how to connect all the things together. So we use made uh, drawings with all the levels together, so we can notice uh, something happening from the top that is <coughs> affecting the, the, the minus 10 uh, underground, things like that. So anyway, so, and you see the, 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 the this building, like many other buildings, has this kind of unbelievable situation that has like uh, more distance inside the earth than outside. And uh, I'm not going to talk uh, about that, but the energy of the of the building somehow, the building activities, that is something that I really like. And uh, I show this picture for that. So this kind of cha chaotic bull that is surrounding this kind of, uh, this provisory moment that I would like not to keep, but to remain in, in, a, in, a, in a more stable, but not uh, death way at the end, this kind of energy you need to, to when you are doing this thing. So. In, 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 in the building is, I'm going to show very quickly also, it's this kind of two lines with this kind of, uh, let's say, floating axis in between the two and the towers and the, the two, let's say, floating or, or uh, unstable energy in between this bar and the other one that, uh, uh, that can you can understand, the, the for instance, the presence of the special windows here, so that these are let's say working in the other axis in the other direction like they do th they do in the in, the, in the horizontal so the, i mean there's a kind of expansion into the third x that are continuing the other expansion and from one block to the other so and 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 also the the idea of the windows the windows uh, frames and the windows on the, the whole facade that has and the whole in a way project it's that it's it was established like a frame continuous frame, like uh, I said, sometimes it is uh, maybe ridiculous and, uh, and rhetoric, and, uh, and, uh, and but, I, but I was really thinking on that. Uh, so I was thinking like being in Manhattan, with the, the, the blocks are the same, but all the windows are different in a way. So in the night, you see the, the whole thing very fragmented, fragmented, because the life is different inside, but also you notice as something that is really connecting the whole thing. For instance, the, the, the each window, we, we spend many, many time designing not the, not the holes, let's say, but the window frames, like all these windows here from the, from the kitchen and the, the other windows from here, from the uh, hotel, uh, from the housing, etc. that are all of them very not very sophisticated, but very with different things. Here with some protections, for instance, here without any sun protection, etc. And uh, another question, uh, this was something again with, uh, uh, and, and this is uh, this kind of, even if the project is absolutely, let's say, frozen, uh, absolutely abstract somehow, uh, frozen, uh, not, uh, let's say, exuberant, uh, not expressive, no. but, uh, but here you, it's very, it's changing also. So uh, this is the, the, the continuity in between the existing building, the new, the new two, uh, trying to, 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 to make something like a family, to establish like a family in between uh, uh, with the other things and also with the courting less at the end. And I said that this, these heads, that they wanted to be, to do something more abstract in relationship to the, to the facades. I don't want to say I, I, I'm trying to work in a contextualist uh, way, yeah? so, uh, and, and in any Peterist way. But I, I, will, I will try to dialogue in an active way with with everything somehow, eh? so no, not not to act in a brutal and primitive uh, way with with uh, our existing things. So in this case, also the plan for many reasons, but also formally, I wanted to to transform my my building that has uh, windows and walls in something more like a texture that is here. There is something a uh, continuity without any architectonical and any tectonical uh, mm, reference. And also, in, in relationship with this kind of uh, coderks with glass buildings, I, I, I had the opportunity to design many things inside. I just, uh, I'm just I'm going to show to you uh, this space that is has something that was basically uh, forces to arranged by the light presence from the outside. So the, the, this is an inside space that has the, the light inside. So in this case. 
I tried to, the, to do the design, the, 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 the roof, and a little bit the materials also with reflections on the glass uh, in relationship to this kind of, uh, let's say, hidden, hidden light. This is a, another project. Uh, the, the, the three were connected with somehow something co contemporary energies. And uh, this is also connected with some kind of old uh, themes. <coughs> this is in this village. This uh, I, I, I is finished uh, so several months ago. This is uh, uh, in, uh, in this town near Barcelona also. All and uh, in, this in, in the center of the old town, in a stream dense with a small street uh, that is uh, more or less in an old road, so it's a curved uh, line. So in this kind of a small uh, town with a small roads, etc., I built one uh, housing, uh, quite a small housing project. Uh, the, the project has two, two ideas, one as, as, as many others. And, and has one is the idea of continuity, and, and the other is the idea of discontinuity. And that is a little bit uh, uh, <coughs> stupid, but because it's very topical also. But in a way, I'm trying to work in continuity with existing forces. And also, and I'm not so naive that being able, uh, that uh, thinking that it's, it's possible to work just in continuity. And you have to work also in discontinuity if you, you want even to, 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 to love the, the, the things. And, uh, and in this case, the building is just uh, this kind of a schizophrenical situation is, is, is extreme. The, the, the building has two floors, upper floors, that are built in brick. Everything is brick. This is a wall brick, uh, uh, structural. This is a structural brick also in the middle, another structure here. And, uh, and uh, if you have studied construction, I think now you are studying construction because I've seen some uh, detailing in the, f in the bar in the constructive uh, detailing, and, and, uh, and, uh, and so do you notice that you also need some kind of perpendicular walls, and, uh, and, and, uh, and so it's a kind of really a box made in brick, and, uh, and uh, with extreme, the extreme logic of the brick. And also the ground floor is just, everything is concrete. So that means that the two, the idea was to, to have a kind of duality, something heavy, <coughs> but, but floating somehow. No? So something that is really, and really is, is is in true uh, heavy because it's, it's not uh, fake. So it's everything is, uh, is uh, has the massivity, but this kind of massivity is floating into the air so in relationship to the to the street that in this way is, is going to be open. So you see, and the <coughs> and the, the skin of the of the, the street that is something like that. This is the, the brick and the, the windows. The windows could. This is a typical window from the from the brick, so with a small lintel. Eh? You, you also notice from uh, from this uh, small lintel, etc. So and and but they are both are moving the the, the two windows, and they have uh, like another layer added to the to this brick thing, that is this layer of the glass that are the protections on the balconies and the protection from the from the from the kitchens, etc. So it's a kind of new uh, skin that is floating into the, or, or surimposed into the, into the layer, into the, the layer of the wall. And the whole thing is just really floating into <coughs> the ground floor, expanding the street, and everything here is glass and, uh, and steel and so on. So you, you start with a kind of relationship in between the, the old things, a kind of, let's say, positive relationship, but you also destroy the whole thing. That it's uh, something that I was really excited to do that. The whole balcony, for instance, is I just spent thousand hours designing this balcony, for instance. It's, it's unbelievable, but it's because it's really light, but it's absolutely solid, I think. It's, 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 it's almost impossible to, to do something more lighter, and uh, but uh, as solid as this, uh, this uh, thing. So you see the, 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 the second layer is also moving from in front of this one, uh, and, and also establishing this kind of somehow instability against the, the, the gravity that could be a little bit too dead, death, dead and of, the, of the old system. So you see that this is the balcony, the balcony that is supported to the wall by here, we have this kind of uh, tens, uh, tension for supporting the tension and the glass is recovering the whole thing. And this, this, 
balconies have a small holes in order to have even some lights from the top. So you notice the, the, the presence of the light even if you are uh, cover, covered by the, by the thing. These this this small holes are used it's something that I found absolutely exciting. This is a small, uh, it's made by the kind of firm, small firm, uh, firm made in the village, but they had computers in order to produce this kind of dissymmetrical reeds inside the, the steel. It was uh, as cheap as making regular in a way. So it's, uh, this kind of tension in between craftsmanship and uh, let's say a technology, a high technology that is more and more often in our, our, our culture. So and the ground floor is uh, the, mm, in the, the, the ground floor, this is in the night, it's a little bit too dramatic, but uh, in the day it's also uh, the same. So it's, it's because even these this, this things uh, can be open, this kind of this, this steel parts. And from the street, you really, uh, you enter at, at, uh, until the end of the whole thing. This is a kind of presence of the earth, having some kind of light coming from the earth. There is also a mirror there, so you are reflected and, and experiencing the, the, the whole depth of the of the building from the from the small street, uh, trying to work against this kind of linearity of the street, uh, introducing the other axes uh, inside the, the plot. This, this is the only project I'm going to show, and this is the only that is not local, let's say, but I'm going to show as if it, it was local. That, uh, and, uh, that is in the in the in the Schinkelian um, Altes Museum in Berlin. Uh, I was invited uh, one year one year and a half ago to to, to make a proposal to this uh, space, mm? and I, I'm going to sh I'm going to explain because basically it was in in somehow a kind of intellectual problem, not really a, an stylistic problem or. A at the end, the result we won one of the prizes, uh, the third or third, I think the third or fourth, third, third, exactly. Uh, and uh, and but at the end, the competition they decided not to do anything. That in, uh, in my opinion is a very good decision. <laughs> and uh, uh, <laughs> basically, after seeing uh, the, the first prize, and 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 uh, and, and the the and no, uh, no and not just by that. And also by that, but not just by that reason, that is a little bit uh, méchant in French, a little bit uh, bad, but uh, uh, also because the space is very nice now. Eh? The space is fantastic. This space, uh, the building is fantastic. And this, this Schinkel building in, in, f in, 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 in Berlin, I, I, I knew, of course, before, it's a marvelous building with an ab abstract order, but with some kind of sensitivity also, not, not like a machine, uh, war machine like in all the Germans, uh, classicists and post uh, neoclassicists, but in, in, in this case it is, it's an ex extraordinary uh, mixture in, in between extreme order and extreme sensitivity also. So in the, in the whole thing, you see this, this building, you see the, the other building that is the, the Neues Museum, the, the new one, that is from the family. This is from like like a child. It's, made, uh, it's, it's, it's not so intense, but it's from the family. This is an, a, a horrible one, with baroque. It's like kind of like a furniture piece, that is is it really in in in, in 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 extreme contrast with the with the altes one, no? and uh, and uh, as you see the space. The space was, is is paved by 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 the by the Nazis in the Nazis time. And after it was used, of course, by Nazis and by the former BDR, uh, BDR uh, government, etc. And was I was really interested for mm, were for two things. The organizers of the competition invited to us to discuss, and we were involved somehow along in this in the process, and they explained a lot of things, etc. So it was a kind of competition with a close, somehow close, closer distance to the designers, and it was really interested in, in two different things to, to, to the in, in relationship to this project. One is that uh, Germans said, uh, my, well, my, my clients, my, the, my uh, speakers, uh, they, they, they said they wanted to, to make this kind of military ex explanate li uh, uh, space in something more domestic somehow. Uh, in a way, this this space is fantastic now. It's, it's an abstract uh, pavement, uh, hurt, that is very good for this kind of gravity uh, and abstract uh, condition of the existing building. So they wanted once 
is to domesticate, the, they, they said like that, they domesticate the stairs. Mm? And the other thing they said, uh, and was really astonishing to me, is they present to us Schinkel as contemporary in a way. So they explain to, to us, that this is on reverse, uh, they explain to us, uh, for instance, Schinkel made uh, several proposals to, the, to this uh, to this space, and they present to us as if uh, Schinkel was contemporary, as if uh, the situation now was exactly the same that uh, one century ago, etc. It was really surrealistic, uh, a surrealistic uh, notice, uh, noticing that uh, how to deal with history in a way, no? in this kind of, in, the, in this, in this, in this sense, this idea of phantoms appear to us. No? I mean, the, in a way, Schinkel was like a phantom of the place. For example, it was not there. It was nothing there. Everything was new. Alas, the, the, the Republic, of the Republic the everything was broken. Everything was new. Eh? But uh, Schinkel is still is still was there as a phantom. We try to to configure the phantom in a kind of geometrical and more abstract way. This is a kind of diagram we, we name the phantom of Schinkel, uh, the hologram of Schinkel, or phantom of Schinkel. We, we put, they are all the proposal of Schinkel, reduces in a kind of diagram. And, and at the end, what, in this case, and I was also very surprised, another, another aspect really close connected to the Schinkel, the Schinkel phantom present, was the fact of the past and the, 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 the the, let's say the the mixifications of the past that there is possible to do with the past. For instance, the, the, this big fountain here, that is, and the entrance of the of the Altes Museum. This big fountain was a fantastic piece made in one in one block of uh, granite in Switzer, in in Sweden or in the north of uh, Europe. It was really a big adventure big, uh, to, to put the, 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 the piece into the place. Uh, it, took, say, it, it was like an heroic element, to, uh, an heroic adventure to put that. And the whole thing, the whole thing was supported by this design of, of fountain. Well, it's not a fountain, it's like a monument. So I mean the whole thing is just uh, uh, supported by this uh, um, pillar into the middle. Uh, and, and the whole design, in a way, it's also playing this, this game or this uh, idea with uh, stability and instability. Something absolutely heavy that is somehow floating. Even this, this uh, small, oh, I think this, this is small uh, stone pieces, I think it's, it's broken now. These small stone pieces here are like protecting from the, from the eventual uh, falling down of the piece. <coughs> and even everybody is looking from the piece from the, from, uh, uh, from the lower level, just protecting. You never see the piece from, the, from above, so you discover absolutely something absolutely boring and without any interest, you know, and, and basically dirty with all the uh, garbage that is inside. So the second of the, the whole tension of the piece is really destroyed by, by, the, by the presence like, like it is now. But, but, it, but it is on the axis of the, of the building, so it, if it is in the axis, it's okay in a way. It's old in a way. So I remember we tried to discuss, because I, 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 to us it was clear that it was not a, the, the, the good uh, situation to this piece, to be there, to be, to be seen in this way. And they said, uh, no, it's impossible because it's on the axis, and, the, and the classicism is always, uh, everything is on the axis. So uh, now I'm trying to explain the whole uh, story because it's, uh, it's made uh, all, all a lot of en also energy to, to our proposal. <laughs> Our proposal was to to deal with the whole thing. We, we transport the, the, the piece the, from the exit into the corner that is surrounded by this uh, corner from the, the street. So because the street is turning here, and we proposed like like a, like a turning point of the street. Hmm? So it's a kind of uh, uh, changing from the position. And we we proposed basically uh, something like trees, changing a little bit the trees, but very uh, light. So put a new uh, enormous trees in front of the cathedral. <laughs> And, and cutting some of the other ones, you know, to, to allow this kind of vision uh, together from the alt and to the new, to the two elements of the family. But basically, the, the important thing we, we do with this is to think in the pavement as something that combines the two elements of the abstraction, let's say, and, and, the, and the domesticity in the, other, in, the other, in the other hand. So the abstraction is a normal uh, grid, a continuous grid that is 10 centimeters by 10. 
So it's a, 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 an iron or an aluminum bead that is going to be like a pavement that is going to establish like really a, this kind of order, abstract order into the, into the land. And I, I, the, but this, this like a skin is not going to cut the relationship in between the land and the earth to the air. So we, we planted a system of plants. We, we thought they, they probably like, like, a, like a line, like a skin, eh? like an open skin, this kind of geometrical skin with the earth and establishing a kind of dialogue, dialogue in between earth and air. So I mean plants move and appear and disappear and establish a kind of unstable and ephemeral movement, but the, 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 the grid was permanent, abstract, uh, eternal, uh, absolutely without any, any change. Man. So, and this is, a, uh, this is another vision of the, of the whole thing. So this is like uh, the grid, and this is inside the earth that is appearing, and for the criteria for the, for the plantations was like a phantom of shinkle appearing and disappearing. So it was like a, like a, you know, in the Catholic Church we have some kind of, uh, some kind of, I don't know the, the name because it's a little bit complicated, but in Italy there is some kind of, uh, of, of blankets with appears and the face of Jesus Christus and disappears. So, and in this case, we try to establish some kind of, uh, as, as, a, as a first basis, uh, say something like a phantom, a uh, figure that, uh, Timur's figure that appears but also disappears. No, no, a phantom is never real in a way, no? it's never material, it's impossible, it's, it's dramatical if the phantom takes, uh, let's say, an authentic body. No? So um, we put <coughs> uh, in, a, in a special program uh, we designed uh, uh, with Vicente Guallard, uh, some very good uh, architect and also um, uh, user and designer with, uh, with the computer elements. A program with all the grid, this is a grid with uh, uh, 10 by 10 centimeters, and each plan was a point into the grid. So the you can produce something like uh, um, ephemerous uh, uh, drawings into, into, the, into this grid. So for instance, uh, ephemerous, uh, uh, th th this is for instance, uh, first attempts or attempts to, to introduce like uh, figures inside the grid mm? with using for instance we introduce like a small uh, portion of water inside with another kind of plants that introduce like another kind of texture another kind of uh, figurative uh, texture different from the points that have been from the from the from the grid uh, above the, uh, on over the grid and the whole idea was also to establish like a space, I, 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 this is the, the facade, the line, this border line in between earth and air. T to think in the, in the whole thing uh, is, uh, like an, a scenario, the different scenarios in relationship to the seasons. So for instance, in the spring we imagine everything was growing up and the whole energy was from the, the earth to the air. So the, the image is everything was green, starting to be green. Even we planted the, the, the color bulbs, etc., with a fan another very nice and fantastic uh, uh, engineering in plants. And, and we planted the plants in colors, etc. And so th this, uh, they start to appear. So they are the fragments from the Schinkelian pattern that was a little bit dis uh, destroyed or, or used in a surrealistic way. So this is uh, a cutting in the grid with water because it was, it was a kind of, this place is in between two water rivers and somehow, so I, we have some portion of the water and we wanted to spray some to the, the presence, uh, the underground presence of the water. So it's a kind of water here and also kind of wet land here that introduces special plants, <coughs> special day wet uh, plants. So in, in the spring everything was thought as a, a really started to be green, started with some colors and, and we planted plants in order to stress that. In, in summer, everything had some kind of vol volumetrical shape. So everything we, we in the spring, we imagine the force was here. In, a in, in summer was <coughs> with, with the third dimension, with, with horizontal parallel to the earth or volumetrical. So everything has the, the, the third dimension um, built. So it's a kind of, of some protections with you, we use in a also in or ironical not ironical, it's surrealistic, I, I will say, the, <laughs> the old uh, Schinkelian um, uh, scenographies from the opera, so this, this portion of textile pieces, and the whole thing was, and we, we have also a kind of uh, cloud of water for the irrigation of, the, of this part, 
cetera. Et cetera. And we, we propose also to establish a furniture with movable furniture that could appear and disappear. It was possible to to imagine designing a, a, a bunch in front of the of the of the Altes Museum without being absolutely ridiculous. Because it's, I think it's really difficult to design a, a, a normal bunch in front of the of the Altes or in front of this space. In this case, the, everything was ephemerous and could appear and disappear without having any effect on the gravity on the all uh, architectural space. <coughs> In in uh, spring, everything we planted, special plants that they were uh, like uh, burst into the autumn, it was everything was brown and uh, and dead, and, uh, and just some, something into the water appeared. And in in the winter, it was everything was was white, it, of course, because the irrigation provide the different types of irrigation provide different types of whites on, or uh, and frozen uh, water. So the whole space was just attention. Uh, surface in the surface tension space uh, with uh, different kinds of, uh, of, uh, of frozen uh, um, water. My last building is uh, what I'm going to show now. Uh, okay. uh, it's my last building. My last building is uh, one building has two, two, let's say, arguments. One is more, let's say, nostalgic and literary anthropological this kind of things, uh, and the other is more physical. This is in geographical. This is a building in, in, in the middle of the landscape, in, a, in the middle of, of a valley. And one of the valleys with the uh, first in the, 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 uh, the first, the first factories were uh, established. And they, they fabric, they, they, in they build these enormous pieces, like here, for instance, this one, in the middle of the Pyrenees, uh, far away of the, and, and, they, and they planted these these big factories, and now of course everything is absolutely depressed and destroyed. But in my building is just for uh, uh, for s all the survivors, the workers survivors of that, the, they are going to die there. So it's a kind of uh, all people residents for the old workers in, in a kind of ghost uh, town, uh, ghost industrial ghost industrial town. But my building has to deal with this kind of anthropological uh, character and also with the another physical experience to be really in between the landscape in a place where no n nothing has been built uh, never so never uh, has been any 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 construction there in the village and another the, the, the big valley is here there's another valley and the second valley here and the building is there just there and uh, Next to the uh, here, of course, is a, a road that is really. In, in you are really in the middle. I, I was. Uh, I, I came uh, very often from Zurich to this place, uh, sometimes in the same day, and it was like being in Switzerland in a way, no? in, the, in this kind of mountains. And 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 the, and the village has also deal with this kind of things in 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 one in the topographical sense. Is the building is a very long bar next to the river and to the valley and to the street and so on. This kind of energy, the horizontal energy. <coughs> and also <coughs> acting as a, as a kind of uh, wall, uh, as a uh, protecting wall, uh, make it like a, you, you see this diagram is very, uh, very explains, uh, I think, clearly the, the, the functional approach. So this is like services here, you enter by here. This is like public spaces, they are like connected to, to this kind of outside, uh, uh, outside the landscape. And here there are the bedrooms for all the, all the old people, residents there. And, uh, and the plant, the plant has very little to do. This, this is just the, 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 the ground floor with all the fa facilities. The entrance and the rest is just uh, the kitchen and all these things like that. This is the first floor with all the public areas. So you, you see this is like a basement. This is a, a rectangle piece. And after it's uh, starting to, 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 to re retile or to, to, to decompose in, in relationship to this basement and, uh, and to this space. And the, and the, and the, and the building af after, the, the two floors are really uh, more decomposed. So this, this is the, the typical 
um, residents with a corridor and, uh, and, and, and uh, outside, uh, south outside, north outside, and, and but the, the, the north facade is really is a little bit more broken. Trying to to pr to, to do something like a more open corridor somehow. So the, 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 the whole thing is acting like a housing. So this is like a house with a big uh, living space. This, uh, this another house with another uh, living space there, etc. So, and you see, and the whole, it's like a box in a way, no? It's like a, a box in the, in, the, in the middle of the landscape. But, but it's, it's a box, uh, that a decomposed box, even with the mate materials. I pay a lot of attention with the materials, like, uh, like, every w like always, no? but in this case, for instance, this facade. This facade has a piece that is the vertical one. This is uh, this cantilever piece, uh, the cantilever floor. So the, 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 the facade is basically in a stone, and the stone is used with this system that you can put the stone, let's say, parallel to the wall, but you can also change the direction of the stone. And you transform the stone in something like a lighter, or something like a, in order to have light inside, but not really to protect you, like in the old times. And, uh, on the other side, so this is like this, this detailing. So you have the stone, the heavy stone, the movable stone, the other stones there. So and also uh, the, the facade is this facade is made by a stone in one side and the sink, the, 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 this, this cantilever piece that has not uh, this gravity relationship because it's really cantilever. So I use this, this uh, sink uh, uh, steel thing also in order to be connected to the old tradition to the place and so on. So there was a still area also, it's a more romantic and more literary uh, idea also. And the whole thing was uh, changing in the, so this is the, the, the sink thing and uh, the sink facade and the stone facade with all the changements that the, the, the whole texture were, were, uh, is introducing into the, into the walls. And uh, the whole thing appears something like that in the, because also, was in relationship to this kind of movement of the street. So this is in relationship to the, to the street, that, uh, and the whole thing has some kind of lines that introdu introduce the other kind of uh, horizontal movement into the whole facade. The whole thing building is changing, your so, so you change, you, you make the corner, into the corner there's the big, the big open space, it's like a, a in, in the, in, in a, in a in the in the ships eh? at the end uh, they stop in the ship I don't know the English word this kind of at the end of the ship with an open space with a big terrace <coughs> and uh, and, uh, and in the big terrace appears a new material that was the boot the boot was also thought in relationship to this kind of organic metaphor in order to to be in <coughs> dialogue it's like an organic space so even the the boot as a new material that is also after playing with the other uh, with the others in in, in this special moment. And also the boot introduces in this space something like a continuity again in between the inside and the outside, in between the outside uh, with the trees and the inside that is everything, even this is like a mineral uh, ceiling uh, with all this kind of, uh, so it's like a organic in the, uh, in the 50s and 40s organic tradition, uh, an organic pantheism in between inside and outside and landscape and building. And, uh, the other corner is something more uh, distortion is uh, destroying itself in order to appear as a smaller somehow. So you see the, the, the corner and a new material appears. So this is the, the, the stone here and the facade with the street, with the road. There is, is another kind of uh, concrete brick. The whole building is, is moving, so appearing as a very small even after it's moving. And uh, this is the vision you have from the from <coughs> when you enter. As you, you see the, the position eh, in between the, the valley, and, and it's not an adaptation. I, I, I don't think in, uh, in my buildings are connected to any kind of contextualism uh, in the in the typical and, and romantic and a little bit uh, boring and depressing way of doing that. Eh? <laughs> but uh, it's, 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 it's trying to dialogue in a kind of without any any visions, but with. Uh, Di dialoguing with <laughs> existing energies into into the world, into the into the place, and uh, into the world, not not just into the place. So it's a kind of of moment of of connecting forces, not to establish in a new um, superimposing orders. And um, 
So the, the upsides uh, from the other side is absolutely is more broken and the whole building is, is moving and destroying itself and even the windows are made also of course by functional reasons but uh, also for formal reasons in order to appear as something more like a box you cut somehow this building in the, this corner and the other cuttings are that appear uh, more casual. And, uh, so the entrance <coughs> is just a kind of glass again, but in this case with a special moment because it's, it's I, I try to be not so evident than, than in the in the urban situation that when really the inside and the outside could be similar. In this case, you have a kind of box. It's a wooden box with two double. And also, it's a, it's a place you enter once in a way. No, it's not. It's not the same that you uh, the old people is not. It's, it's almost never. Uh, living outside the building. So it's a kind of more like two doors protection with a kind of a, s a special moment. Before you enter in a kind of empty space with uh, all this kind of thing. This is a kind of suspended uh, control with all the lights in a, in a transparent uh, pipes. You see all the, all the telephone things, etc. So it's again in a very, let's say, abstract and uh, uh, it's, it's, it's open now. I have not yet uh, pictures with all the people there, but, but this, uh, I've been there. It's very funny, all these kind of old people in between this uh, space. And, uh, <laughs> and inside, and in this sense, uh, the inside is, is also very a abstract and also somehow, but very, uh, let's say, massive. I mean, the all the all the well doors are very uh, are are really doors, heavy. It's, it's somehow like archaic space or like a primitive s uh, space uh, it's not uh, either a kind of any any kind of contextual thing but they try to imagine a space with almost anything but with something let's say as archaic as uh, all the people that they are going to be there no? so thank you and finish <laughs>